Hello friends, welcome to my channel My Inspiring Thoughts by Upadriti. The essence of my channel is to give you glimpses of the vast landscape of Indian culture and the richness of its heritage and traditions. I am equally eager to ignite curiosity about Indian culture in young minds and people from all over the world. After taking you through Natya Yatra, my journey of the traditional dance forms of India, let me give you an overview of the folk dances of India. Walk along my cultural journey to the world of Indian folk dance forms, Lok Natya Yatra. There are more than 100 folk and tribal dances in India. I will touch upon the important ones and give you an insight to these dance forms through my eyes. Folk dances depict the culture, festive occasions, celebrations and the finer aspects of the particular region. Indian folk dances are full of life and are characterized by simple steps and basic movements. Generally, the dancers themselves sing with the accompaniment of the musical instruments of that region. All the artists are colorfully dressed with their unique costumes, extensive jewelry and props. Today, let me take you through an exploration of the folk dancers of Gujarat. The most popular folk dance of Gujarat is the Garba. Its name comes from the Sanskrit word for womb and so implies life. Traditionally, the dance is performed in a circle around a lamp known as Garbadeep. This dance form has a very interesting spiritual concept. The circle represents the changing cycle of time from birth to life to death to rebirth. The only constant is the divine lamp in the center which symbolizes Goddess Durga, the feminine form of divinity. This dance is performed mainly by the women folk of Gujarat for nine nights during Navratri. Garba is also performed during festivals like Sharad Purnima, Vasant Panchami and Holi. Garbi is another form of this folk dance which is primarily performed by men during festivals like Janmashtami. In modern time, Garba folk dance has evolved to include male dancers as well. Along with the vigorous dance moves, one cannot miss the vibrant, exquisite costumes. The traditional costume for the ladies are brightly colored Chanya Choli or Gahagra Choli with Bandhani Dupatta. The costume is generally embellished with mirror work and thick borders. They also wear heavy oxidized jewelry including necklaces, sparkling bangles, waist belts and long earrings. Generally, men wear an ethnic kedia and a pajama or a dhoti with an oxidized bracelet and necklace. Along with the traditional garba songs, the commonly used musical instruments are the damru, tabla, nagara, murli and turi. Dandia or dandia ras is one of the most famous folk dance forms of this state. It is also known as stick dance as dandia is the name given to the wooden stick used in this dance which are believed to represent the sword of goddess Durga. This dance form is always performed in a group who move in a circular pattern with rhythmic movements synchronized with the percussion beats. Here. The dancers hold a foot-long decorated wooden stick in each hand and they strike the sticks in coordination with the fellow dancers as they move in a circle. 
It is a visual treat to watch the performers dressed in elaborate colorful costumes dance with vigor yet grace. Like the Garba, the Dandya Ras is also a popular feature of the Navratri festival. The main difference between the Garba and Dandya dance forms is that in the latter, sticks are used while the former emphasizes on clapping the hands. Traditionally, Garba is performed before the Aarti while Dandya Ras is performed afterwards. The costume is very similar to that of the Garba. Both Garba and Dandya Ras have become household names in all parts of India as well as abroad. Bhavai is a folk dance where both male and female dancers perform while balancing a number of earthen pots or brass pitchers on their head. They dance nimbly, swaying on the soles of their feet with immense grace. Sometimes the dancers thrill the audience with their precision while being perched on the top of a glass bottle or on the edge of the sword or in the rim of a brass thali, leading to a nail-biting finish. Tippani is a unique folk dance in Gujarat which originated from the Chorvad coastal region. Tippani is made of a long wooden stick with a wooden or iron block called garpo at the lower end to make it strong. The dance originated among the Koli community who performed Tippani dance to avoid the monotony of their work. The dance is performed exclusively by women tapping the floor with the stick while executing rhythmic movements. In Tippani folk dance, Turi and Thali are the main instruments used to create music for the accompaniment of folk songs. Another interesting folk dance of Gujarat is Hodo, which originated from the Bharwad tribe, the shepherd community of Gujarat. This dance form depicts the sheep ramming their heads together during a fight. The dancers clap their hands while enacting in a forceful and rhythmic manner. The beauty of the dance lies in the colorful, gorgeous costume and traditional jewelry worn by the dancers. An interesting aspect of this dance is that they perform carrying an umbrella which has exclusive embroidered patterns and stunning mirrorwork. The traditional musical instruments for Hodo folk dance are the dholak, harmonium, flute, kansi, joda and manji. The folk dances of the state are very energetic colorful and truly reflect the essence of a vibrant Gujarat. Now that you have been a great audience to this overview of some of the finer aspects of the folk dances of Gujarat, I am sure the next time you witness any of the above dance performances, you will really appreciate the new ones. Namaskar till we meet again in the next episode of Lok Nati Yatra, My Cultural Journey of Indian Folk Dance Forms. If you haven't clicked the subscribe button, just do that and hit the bell icon so that you can get to be part of this traditional Lok Nati Yatra.